In this video, continuing work on the sign writing series, we'll work on handshape classification. At first, I saw that there are 261 handshapes in sign writing, but I wasn't sure where can I find some data for images that contain these handshapes. So I asked around in the sign writing Facebook group if there is any such resource, and someone responded with this very helpful PDF that contains images for every handshape in six different orientations. However, unfortunately, these images come in the expressive view and not the receptive one, meaning that instead of seeing a hand in this way, we see the hand this way, which isn't exactly what we're seeing in the webcam, so we'll need to see a way around it. In any case, the first step was to parse this PDF and take out all these images that correlate to the handshapes. I did that, and then I figured out that someone else um, has already organized all these images before me, so all this code I wrote is for nothing. So I just downloaded that organized folder and started by running pose estimation on one of the handshapes on six orientations to see what happens. Let me show you some examples. Here, for example, we see page 31 of the PDF, including index hinge on fist shape with the six different images. If we move to Google Collab, we see here that we have pose estimation done on these shapes, but the pose estimation is not perfect. You can see that, for example, the tip of the hand or tip of the finger is not on the tip of the finger, rather on one other joint. On a different view, this might work. So on the side view, this works better. On the back view, it works also well. On the floor plane view, it doesn't really work well. It doesn't really catch the middle finger correctly, etc. Now that I got these poses, I'll try to build a TensorFlow layers model around them so I can run it in the browser and classify between all the hand shapes given the pose. It doesn't have to work for right and left hand independently, rather I'll just flip all the left hands so they look like their right hands. Let's get to it. As an aside, Running this pose estimation system all the time when I develop this stuff takes a lot of heat of my computer, which ramps up the fan noise, which is really annoying, so I then procrastinate from working on this project, and so now I'm going to replace the case on my computer so it will be silent and I'll be more motivated to work. That's better. Now back to work. I have six different orientations per handshape. I can run pose estimation for each of them, but that's not enough to generalize to all of the possible orientations. So I decided to normalize them so the orientation doesn't really matter. I start by 3D rotating each hand so the back of the hand lies on the XY plane. Then. I can do 2D rotation so the metacarpal bone of the middle finger lies on the y-axis. And finally, I scale the hand such that that bone is of constant length. Now, these look quite similar except for one outlier where the pose estimation kind of failed. To see that our normalization gets roughly the same result regardless of the orientation, I can overlay them one on top of the other and, at least for me, they look like the same handshape. With this data, we can finally train a model. Now that training is done, it's time to test our handshape classification model. Before I showcase a model trained on all handshapes, I first trained the model only on the digits 1 to 9. It's a simpler problem, so I thought the model will just excel in it. This is supposed to be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. It works most of the time, but it has many failure cases where the hand is parallel to the floor again. <laughs> a few moments later. Now, we're using the model trained on all hand shapes. 
Let's do the digits again and see how it works. This is supposed to be a one. I guess it works on the index finger. This is supposed to be a two. It's a bit nuts, but it does catch that there are two fingers at least. Three, oh, three works nice. Four, kind of works. Yeah, so it's supposed to be kind of like this. Five, it catches that it's all five fingers, but it kind of confuses between a couple hand shapes. Six, no, yes, kind of. Seven, three fingers, but definitely not the correct shape. Eight, that's correct. Um, it should be round, but all in all, the finger placing is correct. Nine, kind of correct. This is this hand shape, and what it's showing is that one. I'll take it. Like, <laughs> it's kind of good. As you can see, the model doesn't always predict the correct class. It kind of clustered hand shapes to being similar by number of fingers raised, which is a good behavior, but maybe one example per hand shape isn't enough to train this model. Uh, if we try to do maybe the characters, A, then it kind of works. This is an A. B, kind of works. C, doesn't work. D, E, F, well, F looks like a 9. G, goes crazy. H, I, sort of works. J, K, I guess. L, well, it's a bit fidgety, but we can see that there is the L shape between them. So it's like one of the top five predictions. M, N, O, P, Q, R, R predicts a B, S, T, U, V, W, X, not at all, Y, Oh, we can see that the uh, pose estimation here fails to cap capture the pinky, maybe because the hand is too big. And Z is just a line, but it doesn't work as well. For now, this is all the effort I'm going to put into handshape classification. You can try it yourself in the link below, as well as subscribe if you want to see future videos like this one. Hopefully, the next video will be of non-manuals, like the face, where I want to work on the eyebrows raising or lowering, as well as mouth morphemes. If you have any feedback, comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.